Well, hey, folks. Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. One more time. And today is something very interesting. It is a, I guess I'm going to call it a YouTube video garage sale. Yes. So if you're a subscriber and you're local near, you know, in Jacksonville, even if you're not, even if you're not, I will do some shipping of these garage sale items if you'd like me to send them to you. And what we're going to do there as far as is it's kind of be it's kind of going to be like um you know you're going to pay for shipping and the way we end up paying for everything here on this garage sale is going to be through PayPal. You're going to be either uh, sent an invoice, all right? And then you pay the invoice with the shipping attached if you're out of the area. Or we'll kind of we're going to kind of play it by ear here, but don't bother being all interested if you're not truly interested, all right? What I'm going to go through here is an entire pile of items that you will be able to get at a significant discount. It is a box of stuff that I no longer need, no longer use, whatever. Many of these items will be brand new. All right, so let's start off the Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel first ever video garage sale. And the first item is up for bids here. Well, no bids. I'm going to just kind of give a price off the top of my head. That's how this is going to work. So stop the video, okay, and look at whatever you're wanting or whatever you see. Go back in the video. And this isn't going to be based on comments. You're going to email me okay at my email address that I will put on the screen somewhere down here all right it'll show up right here and you're gonna email me that you're interested in this or you wanna come by and look at it I've done many a gr uh, tackle garage sales and stuff over the years right out of the garage so I'll have all this stuff. You can come by. This is really for people who are subscribers or, you know, that are interested. Interested in stuff. And the first thing will be that right there. If you're a hunter, this could really be something that you might be interested in. This is a brand new brand new no box buck hunting knife with a hard sheath a nylon velcro belt loop and of course a d-ring here and it has a detent you go in here like this and you push it out. There you go, folks. I cannot stress how absolutely wicked sharp this buck is. I don't believe it's a USA made buck. I don't believe it is. But it is in the buck tradition. That's for damn sure. It's a grippy material handle little chamfering up here on the blade and here for your thumb it's got these two like you know detent buttons here it is a hundred percent buck I think down here I have to put my glasses on 
just to give you, I know a lot of people are really into the markings. Yep, it is a non-USA buck. It does say Taiwan right there. It's got a lanyard hole. These are straight, I mean, brand spanking new. That is so unbelievably sharp, it's crazy. So, if you're interested, this is a one way, of course, the way it goes in. Blade this side, these detents here. Brand spanking new hunting knife. Perfect for deer, perfect for everything. Wonderful blade, and I mean it stays in there too, boy. Wonderful blade, thick, really thick, really nice. So, I have two of them. Brand spanking new in every single way. Same thing with this one. Never been used, never seen, nothing but sitting here in the wolf den. All right, each one, $30, $30. I don't, th I don't believe you can beat that. This is unbelievable, uh, nice knife. And to me, by looking through this hole here, this is a 100% full tang knife. This blade goes all the way back into here, and I can see uh, in this hole here a little metallic. So I believe this is a full tang knife. The other markings on it is right here. It says 4 seven one so that's 471 stainless steel I believe I'm not a knife expert so are you a hunter there you go really super nice so that's two hunting knives 30 bucks a piece now y'all may remember this Used, I think we got some, a little bit of a burn mark there, or whatever. What is this? This is the uh, football swing jig, assorted sizes for making the football swing jigs. The um, I did an entire video about making the swing jig sheep's head jig. All right, this is the jig. I marked it right here because these are the only two sizes I ever poured. You got, uh, what sizes? You got one and a quarter, one, three quarter, five eighths and half. Along with this comes about 200 or 300 of the inserts. This is all from Do It Molds. Do It is super quality. This is one size fits all. All right. What you do is you take this little thing, you stick it in there. Or you. I haven't done this in a long time, folks, so bear with me. There you go. Stick it in there like that, and you'd have your hook. Let's say I got, oh, and the hooks are going with it. So you're, you're, you're gonna have everything here. All right, you're gonna have everything to make it. So you would take your hook, and let's see how you'd want that. You gotta kinda figure this out. It's been a long time. So if I want to do it this way, then the hook would go on, I believe, this way. All right. Like that. You have your lead melted. 
that would be, let's see, one up, that would be a five eighths. Close that, pour your lead. And what does it make? I know you're just dying. See, it says do it mold right there. What does it make? I'll show you here. So you're gonna get all kinds of hooks that I used, a whole box of hooks. You've got uh, the short shank worm hooks that I thought was really cool and I, I made a whole bunch of these for putting soft plastics on. All right. And then you've got red and black short shank like live bait hooks that are perfect size for using for sheep's head. Let me see here, here we go. This is what it makes, folks. That's it right there, a swing head jig. There's one with the live bait or the uh, soft plastic um, hook on it. And then, let's see here, and then here's a little small one. This is the smallest, which would be, I believe, the half ounce. And that's what it makes for your swing head. Very popular. Guys were going nuts over these. Tackle shops are even selling them. You can make your own for sheep's head. You put a filler crab on here. So you got hooks in there, you got the inserts, and you got the mold. All right in these old containers right here fifty dollars takes it all go look it up this is a about a forty eight dollar mold these right here are gonna run about ten dollars a hundred and that right there a bunch of hooks different kinds of hooks and then you could even just take these and use these as an example are, that's probably about $25 for the hooks. Takes this, you take this whole thing, 50 bucks. All right. Now, let's get into this. Sheep's head jigs themselves. These are all the ones that I made. Various sizes. All right, different style. There's a short shank hook on one, different sizes, red hooks. These are um, Matsuo, Matsuo super sticky hooks. And you've got the soft plastic, all different kind of sizes. All right, some used, whatever, but there's probably well over a hundred in here. I would say somewhere, let's just say a hundred. There you go. Take this entire container, this entire container right here, $30. $30. There's more than $30 in hooks. Come get it. You got to think ahead. Start thinking ahead, folks. For inshore, sheep's head, jetty fishing, whatever thirty dollars takes this entire thing very can be very very difficult to ship okay let's see what's next there is a ton an absolute ton hooks I'm gonna go through these hooks very fast I do not know how many are in there that are uh, that is right there an entire bag of must add two watt and what they are is two watt curbed offset turned in eye for snelling for snelling that's where these hooks really come into place all right very not 
Not difficult to find, but these gold ones, some people have an affinity just for gold hooks. Come get them. I will also do a bundle deal. These, I'm kind of saying that, you know, there's a $10 bag of hard, not hard to find hooks, but there you go. There's those. Now, now we're really into something here. There's close to a thousand or more. A thousand or more. Must add two aught. Uh oh. Must add two aught black and red. I think these are two aughts. These are two aughts. There you go. Live bait. They got the little barbs back here. Turned in eye for Snelling. Probably close to 1,200 hooks, if not more. Lifetime supply for any fisherman out there. I'm looking at probably, you know, 40, 40, 45 dollars. That is a bargain, okay? There you go. Live bait number one. Basically, there could be some others mixed in there. Number one must add overall hooks. You can see that. That's a number one or so. Or a one aught, maybe. That's got to be. 200, 300, must add live bait hooks, come get them, $10. All right, let's see what else we got. Look at that, folks. Now that is a bag o bundle right there. These are what they call trot line hooks just because they have la large eye. They're basically one aughts. There is actually the code right there, the Mustad and Sons. Uh, came out of a box of a thousand. Size one aught, 34081 hooks. That's the Mustad model number. And here's what they look like. They have a large eye. That's no big deal. They're great for opening that eye up and replacing any like uh, swinging jig hooks. Remember all this, all this stuff here can go with this. So if you wanna come by and do a bundle kind of deal, bring your Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover and or cash, all credit card transactions, I will have to add 3.5%. I do that with charters. I'm not paying for somebody's convenience. Okay. Let's make a deal. There you go. Must add lifetime supply. One aught hooks. There's probably close to a thousand in there. Buy a bag. Spread this amongst your friends. Spread that amongst your friends. Okay, I believe that's it for hooks. This right here, folks. <laughs> monster, monster deal. Let's talk. Let's talk. Really good hook. Just have too many hooks. I have too many hooks. Here's something that somebody's going to really want. Look at this. An entire bag of DOA shrimp. An entire bag of DOA shrimp. Various colors. 
replacement bodies. Lots of these are replacement bodies. There's one with a hook. It's got the weights. This is just a replacement glow body. Yes, these have been sitting around. Look at that one's a little bit discolored, but who cares? Do you think the fish really care? Color and all that stuff is nothing more than to turn on a fisherman. Right there, that new penny, dark brown with the bright white eyes versus one with these black eyes. That is a dark water, big time fish killer color. These aren't bad right there for clear water. These are replacement bodies and some with hooks. An entire bag. Say there's replacement body, but then this one has a hook. Replacement body, but this one has a hook, this one has a hook. All right. So that's an entire bag of three inch, I think they call these three inch DOA deadly on anything shrimp I'm thinking on this right here out the door out the door $30 come and get it you a DOA fan these are left over from my bay boat days trolling motor days doing a lot of that you know, saltwater bass fisherman kind of fishing. I don't do a lot of that anymore. I'm cleaning house. All right, what else do we got? Oh, we got some various multi-tools, knives, things like that. Let's see what else we got here. These are just buy something, get an extra. You get something like this, you come by, and you just want, let's say for your kids, you want to get your your kids something uh, simple, you know what I mean, cheap garage sale item. This is an original, absolute original, very used Leatherman original original I mean they don't make these anymore you'll find them nothing's broken it's just very used and loose but hey you know you want to get your son you want to pick up something cheap for your boy your tom tomboy girl <laughs> you know there you go all right these will be something we'll use as a throw-in bundle, deal maker. Then you've got a made in the USA buck with a hard case. Not stainless steel, carbon steel. Little small knife. Ends sort of blunted off. Very sharp. Nice little, nice little pocket knife. It's a buck. It's made in USA. It's got this really neat hard case with a big belt loop. It snaps in. Alright, what else do we got here? Alright. Big circles. More hooks, unfortunately. Here is some big hooks. These are just miscellaneous big hooks. Are you a shark fisherman? If you're a shark fisherman, this is up your alley, let me tell you. These are kind of just some super jumbo old mustads. But then we start getting into brand new circles. I don't know exactly how big these are. Okay, you got these type. Then you've got these super commercial. Many of them, I think I kicked back the barb here on them. These here are for somebody who is really, really super shark fishing, folks. This is a no play hook right here now. 
big giant black like basic steel forged uh, these are Lingrid Pittman hooks there's a whole bunch of them in here if you saw I believe if you saw the video on my offshore playlist on my YouTube channel where I had this guy who broke a rod in half but we had on what I estimated close to four, four to five hundred pound tiger shark offshore he fought it for three and a half hours all right fought it for three and a half hours then he did something stupid like reach up above the foregrip when the shark was on the side of the boat and grab the rod right as the shark was on the side of the boat and he surges and he snapped a lying cheating pen mariner rod that they lie about I also did many a update on that that shark was caught on one of these that's what this is. This is a 500-pound animal type hook right here. This ain't no messing around, folks. So, you got these. Then you got the really cool long shank, large eye, what they call easy baiter. These are a kind of weird to get a bait in there, but these are... I've, I've used a lot of these for big bull redfish. So there's some of those in there. There's some of these in there. These are about a 10 knot. I believe these are 16 knot hooks. All right, and then I'm just throwing in these, these uh, straight hooks here. I can't take people out to do that anymore. I was really, really interested in taking people to go catch the one the monster we did it one time used a half a barracuda for bait fished exactly like the guys in wicked tuna um let it down 480 pound cable half a barracuda go into a big swivel wired on with a sinker let it down let it down let it down over the side of the boat got it in about 45 feet where possibly you know i was thinking the thermocline was um tied off a balloon and let it sail off the back of the boat in the breeze and it went down i have the video all about it in my offshore playlist and i truly i believe that's the hook we had them on that's no fooling around right there so more hooks another uh i really don't know another um We'll just we'll talk about it if you want. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got a collection of Boga Grip floats. Come get them. Perfect for putting on your Boga Grip to hold it. These two are brand new right here. I got my name on this because I was using it for my Boga Grip, I believe. Another throw-in type deal. Let's see what else we got here. All right, so that's a throw-in. We'll talk about it if you're interested. This is a throw them in to make a deal. More of a garage sale, come to the house, check it out item. All right, here we go. This kind of goes with the big shark fishing. If you're on the beach, you're standing on Nassau Sound Bridge, you are into catching the big sharks. I was, and that's the reason why I have this, and we accomplished that that time with that giant, giant tiger. I'm telling you, he was huge and powerful. When you fight a fish on a, on a rod and reel for three and a half hours, um, full vest clipped into the real lap belt I had the guy rigged up up like there's no tomorrow everything was working that shark ended up taking 
this, which is like 400-pound mono, and wrapping it around his body right on the side of the boat and did a death spiral and snapped this like it was nothing, all because the guy didn't keep the rod intact. So that is wind-on leaders. Look it up if you don't know what a wind-on leader is. It's a way of taking this monster heavy mono and uh, putting it onto your braid or your monofilament on your reel. So there's one. I should really keep these. This is two. They're between three and four hundred pound test leaders. That's a wind on, so that's one, two, three, four. Let's see, I can't remember how many are in here. There's five, six. seven, eight ready-to-go wind-ons. They're not short. They've Some of them been used. I had these on like four different monster, monster shark um, rigs that I completely set up because I thought maybe I'd be able to take people to do it. And it turns out that your average Joe in the summer tourists kind of thing they can't hardly handle a 100-pound black tip, let alone a 500-pound tiger. These are $20 a piece, about. I will let them go for maybe half price, $10, 80 bucks, or let's just talk. Take the entire bag of wind-on leaders between three and 400-pound test mono. I'll tell you right off the get-go, all of this will be going to the Jacksonville Offshore Sport Fishing Club swap meet night if you're not interested in it. And believe me, when I take it there, it's gone. Okay, another thing that I thought I might do, and I never did, because I'm really not into I taking big groups to do it. But I sure did get a deal on these, and I'm passing the deal on to you. Williamson Vortex 3.5 ounce butterfly jigs rigged, ready to go. Rigged, ready to go. This Vortex, these have a ball bearing swivel built into them because of the sheer fact that these actually spin underwater. So you got three and a half ounces. There's another three and a half ounce, all with hooks that have never been used. Never seen water, folks. Ball bearing swivel, got the links, got the Kevlar cords, assist hooks. So that's a three and a half. They're all three and a halves or four and a halves. I believe all different colors 100 gram all right here's a bunch of just other ass wire assist hooks short ones short wire assist hooks right here okay here's some kind of I don't know what bullshit that is another thing just some various other tackle and then you get into here's the bigger ones for real deep water that's a five ounce glow, ready to go, 100% ready to go. You will find, go ahead and search Williamson's Vortex spinning jigs. As these go up and down, they are supposed to rotate and make actual vibrations in the water. These were so highly sought after, it's absolutely ridiculous. And if you go to find them, they're very, very difficult to find. So if you're an offshore jigger, you can make out. Take a look at all that. So come by, send me your, your email, 
Send me an email. Let's chit chat. You can give me a call. I'll have my contact information such as phone number, all that stuff. That will be in the video description. If you don't know where the video description is, if you're on a real computer, click on the words under this video of show more. That's where it will be. On your phone, which most of you will be using because that's today's world. On your phone, the video description is a tiny, tiny little microscopic about that big arrow, and it will open up on your YouTube app. It'll open up the video description where the information will be. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This is very simple. This is deal maker stuff. Rattling popping corks. Rattling popping corks. You can pick these up for a dollar something at Walmart. Wow, listen to that one. I guess that's the reason I use this one. Look at that one. That one's really loud compared to that one. These are all these are all what they call lemon drop snap-ons. You snap that onto a mono leader coming off of your braid if that's what you use. Come and get them. And here's a non, but it's a snap-on. And these, that'll be another thing that'll just be a deal maker. Okay. Now, let's get into stuff you may have seen before. I almost had this for sale. This you may be interested in because it's an entire lot. We'll throw these in just as the lot two. So, we got these two that we already discussed. Original Leatherman. It's wore out, but it is a Leatherman. Then we have this pullback buck, used, belt clip. I got a brand new belt clip from Buck just for it. Needs to be cleaned up. It's used. We got a DeWalt. This is supposed to be an assist knife, I thought. It's not. Got a DeWalt with a belt clip, serrated blade. Good knife just for working. Then what do we got? We got a non-stainless steel, as I found sort of out, a SOG neck knife. SOG net knife, or not net knife, neck knife. All right, got some rust on it, can be cleaned up, no problem. Goes into that case. Let's see what we got here. We got a Jeep case, Jeep multi-tool, belt clip, big blade, what else, pliers, and that's all it's got, oh, no, oh, it's got more, and screwdriver, Phillips head, slot, bottle opener. I believe that's it. So, all these seem to lock. All right, I think. I haven't used this or looked at it in forever. These, you fold it in, you push the button. Well, actually, I think you kind of are supposed to pull back like that. These are all liner lock. Line, I don't, is this a liner lock? Yep. Liner lock. Belt clip. Nice little multi-tool. 
comes in a Jeep. Comes in a Jeep sheath. If you're seeing anything you're interested in, just let me know. Got another sheath here with another belt clipped multi-tool kind of knife. Half serrated drop point blade, stainless steel, and pliers. Little small pliers. Folding in. That's kind of cool. Alright, comes with a sheath, but then again it's got a belt clip. Then, over here, this is pretty nice. This is another one for like your kids or something like that. Or yourself even it's a nice leather case with a Leatherman knockoff there you go Leatherman knockoff it's got fish scaler degorger straight slot bottle opener Phillips head then over here, it's got a blade, short blade, flathead screwdriver, and another type flathead screwdriver. This flathead screwdriver also has a bottle opener. So, all this stuff, I really don't know what the price it at, but since we're talking this not going on eBay and I'm not having to pay a fortune I would say come and get it ten bucks ten bucks maybe ten bucks five bucks five bucks five bucks then what do we got here in a old crinkly old sheath uh, another five dollar knife this is an assist Milwaukee fast back Looks like it's missing the belt clip. Bam! Oh, that's an assist. Milwaukee. Liner lock. Serrated blade. Tonto point. Flat black finish. Sharper than holy hell. Yeah. Okay. That's an assist blade. So them throw in the sheath here say five bucks oh here's another one of those same one as this one got the same thing got drop point stainless steel blade half serrated um, belt clip oh this has the pliers and I guess I lost it for the other one. Then you got a pull out little screwdriver here. Take take both. Take both. Make me a deal. Liner lock. And belt clip and sheath. So this is just some of that that I have. So let's end this. This has been a lot of info. If you're interested in any of these items, go back and look at them. All right. I know I have a feeling what everybody will be very interested in. I believe the mold, the mold, the hooks, the bot, the whole uh, container of sheep's head jigs. I'm sure that'll be a big deal. Um, I'm sure the DOAs will be a big deal. And possibly, you know, a bag of hooks. Um, the least thing I think people will probably be interested in is probably those wind-on leaders because that's starting to get into some real technical fishing out there unless you're into some serious technical fishing. Um, another thing they probably won't be all that interested in is a whole bunch of these. So we're just going to, these will all be a throw-in or I'll just keep them. So there you go. All the information will be located in 
about how to contact me and everything in the video description. I said, like I said, the video description is in under this video on a computer where it says the word show more or on your phone, on the YouTube app, there will be a tiny little arrow about that big for you to hit. And that's where the information will be, where you can contact me. If you're interested in any of these garage sale items, come on by because I also have brand new, maybe used once or twice, seven foot six, or not seven foot six, seven foot catfish casting rods, medium heavy ugly sticks, 30 a piece. Come take them. Let me, I'll pull one out and I'll give you a real just quick low down here. They're used. Ugly stick. Gimbal butt, these are the brand new ones. The, the, they're not old, old models. Casting with my exclusive hook hanger here. It's the ugly stick catfish model. I've got probably four of these I can let go. They all have the ugly tough guides. I believe most of them are used. But, you know, I don't abuse my stuff, folks. You know that. If you follow me, you know I'm into maintenance and everything. There's nothing wrong with the rods. So there you go. Um, four of them, 30 bucks a piece. Come and get them. Check them out. All casting. I don't do anything spinning, so I'm sorry if you're looking for spinning rods. Come get them. I can't ship these. I would lose my ass totally. So, um, gimbal butt, ready to go fishing. Stick your Garcia Ambassador, your your Daiwa, your low profile, whatever. Uh, an ugly stick catfish. Let's see something here. Here you go. If it'll all focus good. These are medium heavy, seven foot half to three ounce that's total bs i've used eight ounce leads on a catfish rod so um if you're interested 30 bucks a piece you'll never find them for 30 dollars anywhere in the store um without tax shipping ordering them whatever i have them i've sold a bunch of them over the years because these are my spares and unfortunately, I got spares for spares on top of spares. Like I said in all my other videos, I have serious ugly sticks. If you want to make those sheep said jigs, get with me. Get with me. Because you not only have the hooks, there's about 200 inserts for going in this mold. Swing head jigs, make your own sheep head jigs. Hooks galore, match, mix and match. Come on by. Come on by. I'll give you my address. We'll, I'll be home. Bring cash or credit card. And don't forget these brand new Buck knives. Stainless steel, 420 stainless. Wicked sharp. Never seen the outdoors two of them thirty dollars a piece or all this is going to the jacksonville offshore sport fishing club swap meet when it comes around and i'll tell you i will move all this then i have no reels so don't bother asking just everything you saw here so thanks for watching i hope to hear from you i want to help you out as you help me do some clearance Check the video description for all the information, contact information, and everything you need. All right. Hope to see you at the garage sale.